So it was a safety car start after oil had been dropped all over the circuit here at Slovakia Ring for the qualifying race ahead of FIA GT1's main championship race tomorrow. There you can see the number eight car was the culprit of the oil spilling, Andreas Zuba. And uh, the brollies went up fairly early on. It was only light drizzle for the start of the race once the safety car came in. This was where the AF Corsa won the weight race, really. Absolutely incredible move from Belanda. Moved up into second place, forced their way through into the lead by the end of the first lap. Yeah, I mean, the Ferrari, whether it was Belanda or Salaquada, it just looked destined as the sister car and Castellacci goes gravel digging it away out around the back of the track. But the Ferrari had pace. McLaren came in, De Moussier got out, and uh, put up, uh, Parent got out, put De Moussier in. That's the Makaviki car, Fred Makaviki taking over. And uh, but 25, that is a problem. There's the Lamborghini that really had us all on the edge of our seats, wondering would it make it onto the podium, then wondering would it make it onto second place of the podium. Yeah, absolutely fantastic stuff from them. Fred Makovicki came out and immediately overtook the sister McLaren up the inside into turn one of Gregoire de Moussier. And at this point, it looked as though it was McLaren's for the taking. Fred Makovicki was absolutely flying through the field as de Moussier held up Yelma Berman behind. Berman finally made the move stick on the right hander into turn four. Enzo E decided to take the number four Ferrari for a little bit of a visit to the beach. But at this point, as I say, it looked as though it was all there for McLaren's taking, quicker than the Ferrari. The other McLaren retired, but it was just a case of when would the McLaren pass, then the heavens opened. Exactly, well, they opened in a gentle way, but it was beguiling. There you can see how much rain was falling towards the back end of the race. It got to maybe a lot heavier than it was initially. And uh, simply Thomas Enger on board in the Lamborghini, coming up behind one of the Audis, that would probably be the Stippler car. No problem whatsoever for the Czech Republic driver, just had the pace. He says, it's down to this Lamborghini, it's a beautiful car. It gave me the best ride of the day. And this was looking back from the 38 car of Marcus Winkelhock, and he made it through past him. Then he just had to deal with the McLaren. We thought he was far too far behind the... Uh, everyone thought he was far too far behind the second place BMW, but it turned out he was not. He caught, got up the inside into turn one, and passed, moved into second place. But let's take nothing away from Philippe Salaquada. He and AF Corsa take the win. Join us tomorrow for the championship race when they will be on pole position. See you then.